Welcome back to Lintec's series of instructional videos. In this video, we're going to take you through an MS series or modular sequencing panel demonstration. The MS series panel works with the QOPL motorized breaker and uses the MS12 series control board. This is the original motorized breaker control platform that was developed specifically for the sequential turn on and turn off of entire audio systems. Now, using motorized breakers have several inherent advantages over relay based switching systems. First, Motorized breakers save system space. Every electrical device has to be protected by a branch circuit breaker. That's required by code. That being the case, if you switch inside the breaker itself, you obviously remove the need for redundant wall or rack mounted relay switches. Second, if you remove redundant switching boxes, you obviously will lower project installation costs by lowering the electrical labor needed to wire the system. Third, because every electrical device connects to a power panel, you can control the entire system, including remote powered speakers, with the touch of a single button. And that means unmatched ease of operation and user convenience. Now you can also add additional electrical protection uh, because you're working at the source. If you're working at the panel, you can add extra electrical protection. And finally, you can now sell your customers a green solution because you don't have to leave any equipment, for example, powered speakers, in standby mode. So you can turn everything completely off with that touch of that single button. And that's the great thing about using a Lintec sequencing system. Since we're switching at the branch circuit breaker level, you've simplified the design, you've lowered your project costs, you've removed the chance of operator error, You've added electrical efficiency and an extra layer of electrical protection. Not a bad system. Now let's show you how they work. Here's an MSLC demo panel. Now we've added an extra sidecar so that you can see lights turn on and off as the branch circuit breakers cycle through the demo. The buttons, of course, would be located, uh, could be located next to the panel like they are in this demo or up to 5,000 feet away. But the system itself, as, ships, as it ships from Lintec, includes the uh, customized sidecar added by Lintec and, of course, the power panel itself, uh, which is built by Square D. Now, we've also split the panel into three distinct operating uh, sections so that you can get a feel for some different sequen sequencing programs. Uh, now keep in mind that in our system you can sequence as many or as few breakers as needed. That's where the modular and mod modular sequencing system comes from. Each control board can control up to 12 breakers and you can daisy chain the boards to control as many uh, circuits as ultimately uh, that you would ultimately need. And any slots not taken up by motorized breakers can be filled with standard unmotorized uh, breakers. So you could purchase a single uh, sequencing board and sequence up to 12 breakers, two up to 24, three up to 36, et cetera. Uh, and of course, daisy chain even multiple panels if you need to for really large systems. Now here's the basic on off functionality of a Lintec sequencing system. A properly wired sequence would apply AC power to the front end low level electronics first, wait for them to stabilize so that the clicks and pops are ignored by the unpowered amplifiers, and then sequentially power on the amplifiers to spread out the inrush currents over time. Here's another example of that. This is a little bit longer sequence to give you that sense. This would be the two circuits that control your front end, and then they would rapidly step through the amplifiers. Now here are some other key features of our, of our modular sequencing system. First of all, it's time tested. We've installed thousands of these systems all over the country since 1992. As I've said before, motorized breakers save rack space and wall space because you're adding uh, switching functionality to the branch circuit breaker panel that you have to have on the wall anyway. Now switch rated breakers save redundant wiring cost. The breakers are available in 15, 20, or 30 amp models with one, two, or three pole versions available so we can switch virtually any electrical load. We've got built-in brownout protection that adds an extra layer of electrical protection to your uh, expensive amplifiers, mixers, and digital processing equipment. Here's how that works. So we've got all of our circuits powered on. It's being powered by this. Now notice when I cut the power to the circuit, you're going to see that the uh, system waits just a couple of seconds to turn off. Is What we do is we have a two second delay to make sure we're measuring voltage to make sure that all your equipment is failing but we're storing enough capacitive power so that we can turn the system off even with no power coming into the building. Now we do that because you can't turn back on properly if you haven't turned yourself off. And none of the rack mounted sequencing uh, systems do this. So now I'm going to bring power back and I want you to watch what happens. When power is restored to the system, 
you'll see that the boards see the power, but they don't just turn immediately on. We wait for five seconds of steady power before we start sequencing back on. So we do two things for you. First, we make sure that you don't turn on before all those pulses are gone that come back when the power outage re, uh, comes back to restores itself. And then we always sequence on properly so you never get the clicks and booms uh, associated with improper turn on, okay? Another key feature that we have is what we call emergency override. Now this allows you to set your uh, panel up or, or uh, hook it up to a fire alarm. We can take a contact closure command from a fire alarm and immediately cycle all the amplifiers off but leave all your front end gear on. Here's how it works. This button is hooked up to uh, what we call our zip off functionality which is what your fire alarm would hook up to. Fire alarm goes on and immediately everything zips off with the exception of the uh, circuits that control your front end. That leaves your front end on and uh, warmed up so that you can continue to, to be ready for when power uh, sequence is back on. Now when, when the fire alarm comes, uh, when the fire alarm is turned off, that releases the contact closure and again the system immediately sequences back on. It never just pops back on. And boom, you're ready to go. And, uh, and this is required, uh, that functionality is required in many major cities, especially on the East Coast. Um, next, We've got, uh, again, one touch control from up to six locations. It takes four conductors or two twisted pair to hook up a set of buttons, and you can have up to six sets of button, buttons wired in parallel to uh, turn your system on and off from up to six different locations up to 5,000 feet away. There's also a locking switch set available so that you can avoid unwanted turn on or turn off. Uh, as well, you might notice that when the system is on, this light stays illuminated so that you know that the system is on. But when it's cycling on or off, you'll see that the on uh, button uh, blinks. So when it's cycling off, again, you'll see that the on button blinks. As long as that sequence is in process, letting you know that the sequence is still in process. And then again, when turning on, you'll see that uh, the light blinks as long as the sequence is, staying, is uh, uh, still uh, uh, in progress, in process. And, um, and then last, our systems, again, are daisy chainable for unlimited circuit count control. So with a Lintec sequencing system, you've added electrical protection and user convenience in a single wall-mounted panel. Uh, now, let's take a quick look. Uh, I'm going to show you how these are wired. So here's a mock-up of a wired MSP sequencing panel board. This will show you what they look like when they're wired and hanging on the wall with the covers off. Now, note, note that Lintec sells this as an entire solution. All you have to do is hang the panel have it wired and mount the breakers and uh, you're ready to go. Now, you'll notice that the uh, hots and the neutrals in the, uh, to the circuit breakers are wired just like every panel that you've ever seen before. Now, the grounds in this case we have wired to an isolated technical ground bar. Now, in the panel we put, we put on a dedicated ITG cabinet so that there's plenty of room to, uh, to maneuver the thicker wires and to wire up your isolated grounds. And the load center, that's uh, located at the bottom inside of our main uh, cabinet. Now, the panel bar also offers a 200% neutral lug and bolt-on breakers, which those two features are only available in the panel. In the load center, we use snap-in breakers, uh, and then only 100% neutrals are available in that particular uh, size of panel. Now, um, the only aspect of the wiring that changes from a traditional panel uh, are uh, hooking up the leads or the low voltage control wires from the breakers themselves. As we mentioned before, each motorized breaker has a red, white, and black wire uh, that's pre-wired into it and it just has to be landed to a position on one of the control boards. Basically, you bring these over, you land it to one of the headers. It takes three small screws, a very small flat-headed screwdriver is all it takes to wire these. And you just land them in the order that you want them to sequence on. And then, of course, when we sequence off, we go uh, in reverse. So that's the, really the only aspect of, of putting this panel on the wall that's any different than any traditional electrical panel that uh, you've ever worked with in, in, in any of your systems. Um, after you land the wires, we have a set of our jumpers that we've described before where you set a series of uh, three to five jumpers to determine where your delays are and what your step rates are as you move through your sequence. And those, of course, can be customized by board if you'd like. Thank you for your time. Please don't hesitate to call uh, if, if you ever need our assistance or you'd like to know more about the uh, MSP series panel boards 
are the MSLC series of modular sequencing load centers. Thank you very much.